Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn off Wi-Fi for WhatsApp. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do on my iPhone is open up the Settings app here. And on here, what we're gonna do is scroll to the very bottom until we find WhatsApp. So scroll all the way to the bottom here, and there's WhatsApp, let's tap on it. Now on here, if background app refresh is toggled on, you want to make sure that is toggled off. You'll see on here, cell data, the ability to toggle that on or off, but not Wi-Fi. If I open up the WhatsApp app here and tap on settings at the bottom right, and then tap on storage and data, you'll see under media auto download, for photos, I can choose Wi-Fi, cell and Wi-Fi or never. So basically the only option you have, there's no only cell option. So what I recommend doing is if you are on Wi-Fi and you do not want it to use that, basically just switch all of these over to never, AKA off and tap on all those and turn them all off. Essentially what you can do after that is when you're ready, when you're just on cell data, so if you swipe down from the top right and you toggle off Wi-Fi and you're just on cell data, you can always then just go in here and toggle any of these back on. So this is one option to ensure that it will only work if you're on cell data. Another option you have is to hop out of here and open up your settings again. Let's just scroll up, keep scrolling up until we find general, and then iPhone storage. Now on here, we'll find the WhatsApp app here. There it is. And we're gonna just choose to offload this app. Essentially what this does is it makes sure that it's not gonna run on your Wi-Fi and use up any of your data and whenever you're ready, all you have to do is just find the WhatsApp app there and just tap on it and it will load a fresh new version of that app on your phone. All of your messages, everything will be still there. It won't remove any of those things. Let me switch over to Wi-Fi because it's a bit faster and it will load up that app and it should be working normally, but you can get around this using it on your Wi-Fi. Hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.